Hey, it's Prepper Action, and in this video, I will showcase five great post-apocalyptic short films that you might not have seen. Most apocalyptic independent short films mainly focus around some college-age kids wearing gas masks and generally schlepping around in the woods with little or no plot, backstory, and most importantly, an immersive post-apocalyptic environment i.e. a set design. These five films I have chosen because of the cinematography, set design, well-blended CGI, and an engaging storyline. So let's start with number five. Set in the distant future, Connected, is a story about survival and greed with a post-apocalyptic wasteland as its backdrop. Survivors of an unknown disaster shuffle through a desolate landscape with the one resource that will keep them alive. It quickly becomes clear that not everybody has the strength to survive. In this film, the spaghetti western music adds a bit of nostalgic charm and is reminiscent of the old Clint Eastwood westerns that have become classics. Short film number four is titled State Zero. In the opening scene, you see a man restrained and injected with some kind of substance that alters him entirely. signs of any exterior damage. Probably just the fuses again. All right, laying down ADRs. We join four soldiers on a routine mission in Zone 3 with the assignment to investigate an old surveillance tower that had just went offline. I would describe this film as I Am Legend meets Aliens. Jackson, you ready? Thought you'd never ask. Great. The action Come scenes on. are intense and the ending is astounding. The film was shot in London with an international cast, while all the other exterior shots were done in Stockholm. Ray. Sarge? Sarge? This is a very well done film. If you like action Ray. and a little bit of sci-fi, this Sarge. is the film to see. Short film number three is titled The Most Beautiful Day. A young man survives the apocalypse in a Soviet-style alternate reality. And when
when trying to find his place outside an isolated city, he gets trapped in an underground bunker. Feeling he is doomed, he explores only to find a dead man that he believes will also become his fate. Resourcefully, he checks the man's heads-up display wrist connection to find a way out. Show me all the exits. Showing all exits in FUF C6 in sector 43. Sh show me all possible emergency exits. Showing all possible emergency exits in FUF C6 in sector 43. From there, he finds the dead man's diary entries. For a while, I've been having this reoccurring dream where I'm living in my house, and it's summertime, and I'm pretty young. I'm about, let's say, 10 years old, and I'm laying in bed, and it's a beautiful summer day outside. It's The second short film is titled The Last Man. This film focuses on the main character who has been revived from a stasis chamber to locate a team member who has sent a distress signal. The film has a very gray overtone and a harsh post-apocalyptic realism. The constant rain that pours down gives this film a richness of environment not seen in most short films of this genre. In this scene, the visceral grief and emotion is played out because the main character would not have ever saved his team member. We were once mankind. We were humanity. And number one is Raka. And right up front, I will give this film an R rating due to violence, graphic language, and gore. So, it is not family friendly. Just saying. Vermin. They came here to exterminate us. Racket it's is a post-apocalyptic science fiction short film by Oat Studios and is truly a post-apocalyptic nightmare that plays out in three parts or volumes. Gathering enough morale to fight. Come on. 
In the near future, Earth is attacked by a technologically superior and highly aggressive reptilian alien race. Humanity is nearing extinction with millions dead or enslaved. The computer graphics for the aliens in this film are amazing. They move in an otherworldly way, which is kind of unnerving. The survivors mostly live underground or scattered among ruins, and have just enough provisions, weapons, and ammunition to continue fighting, using whatever they can in a most desperate need. Just one in a thousand. Just enough to keep fighting. And you may also notice that one of the stars in this film is actually Sigourney Weaver, which you will know from Aliens. The item. You've heard about it. Yeah. It's not for sale. Can we learn to hunt them? Can we make them fear us? So this has been the top five post-apocalyptic films that I've watched in the last year. I'll provide links to each film in the description. If you like my videos and my content, please subscribe, like, and whatever else. Blah, blah, blah. Prepper Action Hour.